Now let's see how we can configure a list in service now. So the question is, when a user should perform the configuration of a list in service now? When there is a client requirements. And the client requirements can be like, these fields has to be hidden or visible for all the users on the list. Edit or new button has to be removed from the list. Disable list editing, changing the layout of the list for all the users. These can be the client requirements and you have to configure the list according to that. Let's see the demo of the configuration of a list in service now. Now we are going to see how we can configure a list in service now. So on the screen you can see the list of records of incident and we are going to configure the incident list which will make changes for every user. So let's see how we can configure it. All you have to do is that you have to go on any column and you will see three dots icon or the tooltip says column options. You can go on any columns if you want. You will always see these three dots icon. So we are going to select it. And after that you will see the options configure. And in the configure you will see list layout, list calculations and list control. So with the help of list layout what you can do is that you can change the list layout. The layout which you are seeing on the screen right now. You can change it. So you will see the similar structure as you are seeing in the personalization model box but on the top you can see it is saying configuring incidents list if you make changes here it will be applicable to all the users for this what we are going to do is that we are going to hide the open column so we will select the open column and move it to available slash bucket and we are going to make active column visible so we will select the active column and move it to the selected slash bucket and we are going to reorder it. Now once we save this layout it will be configured for other user also. Before saving it we can see that below we have list view. So a list can have multiple views and you can configure a list on the basis of view also. So you can see there are multiple views available. Right now we are just working on the default view. You can also create a new field from here for the incident table. So we are going to save it. And now we can see after the number column, active column is visible and open column is hidden. And these changes are applicable to other user also. We are going to see by impersonating it. But before we impersonate, we are going to see more configuration of the list. Now on the screen you can see that we are seeing some different links like this is a link, this is a link and this is a link. So this is a list functionality that whatever is the first column will be a link. And if a column is a reference field means it is referencing to another table that will also be a link. All these configuration can be changed. And you're seeing a new button on the top right corner in the header of the list. So this can be hidden. The filters can be hidden. The pagination you are seeing at the bottom of the list. This can be hidden. So these configuration can be changed according to the client's requirement. So we are going to see how we can change all these configuration. You have to click on three dots icon again and go to configure options and select the list control options. Here you will see different options available to you and you can select the configuration according to the requirements. If you hover over each fields, you will see the description of it, what it does. Okay. So this will be very beneficial to you if you want to understand what that particular field does in that particular form. On the right side we can see new roles, edit roles, filtered roles. So if you hover over it you will see the description of this particular field. Roles necessary to see the edit button so you can provide any roles. So here it says omit new button. So we have seen there is a new button available. So if we select this checkbox it will be removed. If we select this omit edit button then the edit button will be removed. 
and you can see that omit filters omit links omit drill down do not want to edit any record from the list user interface then you can always come up here and see this particular field list edit type in this just select disable list editing then the users will not be able to change the records from the list user interface if you want to remove the pagination select this all these configuration can be done from list control now we are going to update it and we can see on the screen that the new button is not available filters icon is present but when we click on it filters are not coming up all the links on the list user interface is not available pagination cannot be done so that's how you can configure it and all these changes will be applicable to others users also now there is one more thing that is if we go to the configuration we see list calculations basically the list calculations are the aggregation or maximum value or minimum value or the total value or the average value for a particular column so for each column list calculation will be different for number column if we click on three dots icon and go to configure and click on list calculations we will see number calculations if we select both of the checkbox maximum and minimum value then at the bottom of the column we will see the maximum value number and minimum value number so if we scroll at the bottom we will see the minimum incident number and maximum incident number okay just like that we will have for each column different list calculations so if we go for the priority one we are going to click on three dots icon and go to configure list calculations here you will see two more options available total value minimum value maximum value average value now we have configured the list and these configuration will be applicable to other users so let's impersonate a demo user which have the right access to the incident list we are going to quickly impersonate demo user and open the incident list and we can see all the configuration that we have made for that user is applicable to the demo user also the demo user is not able to see the new button is not able to filter the records the pagination is not available at the bottom we see the list calculations for the number column there are no link available so that's how we can do the list configuration in service now try these things on your personal developer instance if you face any difficulties any questions write it down in a comments if you have any suggestions for other videos write it down in a comment share these videos with others thank you for watching this video bye bye